Jim Panky here. I wanted to talk to you today about tunings and different tunings that you as a bluegrass banjo player will probably encounter. And there's just, there's just a few that I deal with on a regular basis that, that I think that you need to be extremely familiar with. And I'll, I'll, I'll toss you some song ideas out there as well. Obviously, our first tuning is just standard G, which is a G, D, G, B, and D. And, and we play tons and tons of songs there. I mean, this is where we start. We play Cripple Creek. Foggy Mountain Breakdown. great standards we play out of that standard tuning. I wonder if that's why they call them standards. No. <laughs> why not? Well, you heard it here first. Uh, one of the other tunings, and, and one of the first tunings that I move a student to that's not standard is what I grew up learning as C tuning. It's all we do is we're going to take our fourth string and we're going to lower it to a C note. Now we drop that to a C. Now, when you retune a string on your banjo, it's it's a good idea to check check the others. So I've got I've got a tuner that I'm using just to check because as you loosen strings, other strings they kind of want to. They kind of want to change sympathetically. So like when you lowered that string, you had that that tension was released and the other strings go, ooh, let's take up that space. And so sometimes you'll get strings that go sharp, sometimes flat. So. And I'm peeking at my tuner. So now we are in C. So same tuning except for we've lowered this to a C note. So G, C, G, B, and D. So now we're looking at songs like Home Sweet Home. So tunes like that. And I do, uh, I do a variety of songs here. Uh, I do last day. Any song that is in C, or I want to play in C, and I want that low note, I'll use it. Like even in uh, Footprints in the Snow. common tuning. I use it quite a bit. So that's C. So there's not a lot of places we can go from here. So I'm going to go back up to G. All right, so we're back in G. A tuning that you will hear also used, so standard tuning, then C tuning. Earl used that on Home Sweet Home on the Foggy Mountain Banjo album. He also tuned to D to play Reuben and John Henry. So D tuning, I'm gonna to get to D tuning and then I'm gonna explain it. So that's going to an A. And that's an F sharp. And now we gotta do something with the fifth string. You've got options. Earl on the Foggy Mountain Banjo album tuned this down to an F sharp. That sounds cool. But you could also, if you wanted to, and I have I have railroad spikes, but you could tune it up to an A. Also a viable solution for D. But what do I do? I prefer this one. But it's not, but that's me. And it might depend on the tune. You you don't necessarily always need to be exactly like I do it 
find something that you like. Yeah, I heard him say that he was going to talk about the tuning. And he got distracted, which he does. Will forgive him this time. Let me show you what the tuning is. So for detuning, starting with your fifth string, preferably the tuning like Earl used is uh, F sharp, D, F sharp, A, and back to D. He's absent-minded, y'all. But he uses this for Reuben. He uses it for John Henry, which is a video that I just taught. Other tunings or other tunes that 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 are played here. Don Stover did a uh, Rockwood Deer Chase. that lick. Uh, and Ralph Stanley does hard times here. So those are a couple of D tunes that that are fun to play. And, and there's there's a ton of things that you can do in D tuning. As a matter of fact, what, what I do with my students when, when I introduce Detuning uh, is I'll just tune their banjo. Uh, we, we'll, we'll get in, we'll get in tune in D, and uh, I'll say now go home and play with that. Just noodle with it. Do things that you think you know. Uh, pretty soon, you know, if you apply your cripple creek, you're going to have Reuben. So detuning is a fantastic alternate tuning that you're going to use quite often in bluegrass. But there's one more. I just want to ask you, do you like this kind of content? Is this helpful to you if it is? Uh, may, maybe hit a like button and leave a comment. And, you know, if, uh, if you want to, if you want to uh, get over that string of bad luck you've been having, Maybe, maybe maybe hit that subscribe button and then maybe ring that bell if you want to get notifications. All right, so let's get to this final tuning. Thanks for sticking around. This last tuning is D minor, and it, it starts out. We'll we'll do we'll tune down to D like we did before, just a regular D. <laughs> going to raise our fifth string to an A. If you have a spike, you can spike it. If you have a fifth string capo, you can spike it at the seventh. Or if you don't, you can tune this right on up to an A. And I'm checking my tuning. So I've got A, D, and right now I've got F sharp, A, and D, but I need this F sharp to go down to an F. That'll make it a minor, short lesson. To make a minor chord, or to make a major chord, you have the, the first note of the scale, the third note of the scale, and the fifth note of the scale. So first, third, and fifth. What you wanna do to make a minor chord is you take that third note and you, and you flatten it. You go down a half a step. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make that an F. And now we're in D minor. Sounds really sad and moody. And that's the whole idea behind this. Earl plays Nashville blues in this tuning. And it's, it's a lot of fun to play. And it's a fun tuning. But it's the only song that I play in this tuning. So why bother? Because. Because it's fun. And it's something that you're going to want to learn to do. I promise you, it's, 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 
because because of this really moody sound. So folks, there you go. There's a handful of tunings. The most common ones that you're ever going to use for bluegrass tunes. Are there others? Absolutely. But are there any others that are really more common? Probably not. Other than the standard G tuning, do you have a favorite tuning? If you do, leave a comment in my, uh, well, in the comment section. Oh, and one more thing. This shirt, uh, I got this shirt from flying free there you go and uh just just a little little commercial here uh flying free tees and you can find them on facebook so there you go just thought you might want to know <laughs> all right we'll see y'all